Hi everyone, I'm JD from Willow Bound Journals. Welcome back to my channel. I am a journaler, journal maker, and teacher of journaling courses. And in this video, I'm sharing the final flip through of these finished ephemera holders featuring Daphne's diary, beautiful images on the covers. Uh, I think this was the magazine from three issues back. I can't be quite sure because it has been a while ago since I got this magazine. But aren't these pictures just stunning? The peacock and the hummingbird and on the back there were four cards. So I was able to make a front and back cover for two holders. And I just love it. Paired the pink with the pink here and the blue and the uh, green with the blue and the green. And I thought this William Morris washi tape from Washi Wednesday fit in so well with the birds and the green and the blue theme for both of the front covers. And then I turn these into ephemera holders. Oh, and I do have a video showing how I made these covers over on my Patreon. Um, and then going inside, I did share a video on my channel of this idea to make vellum pocket pages. I absolutely love them. I love that you can see through both sides. I love that you can stitch the pockets however you want. So some other examples or ideas, uh, instead of sewing across here just leave it one giant big pocket and just put things in there like maybe cards or envelopes you could stitch it down here down here down here and have a really big top loading pocket for maybe letters and papers and things like that bookmarks over here i've got these three smaller pockets but you could yeah just divvy up that however you want and create the sections that you need maybe some four smaller pockets um, if you have some really thin items, maybe some tickets or coupons. Um, yeah, love this idea. And not only to make ephemera holder pockets, but to include it into an actual journal as a signature or as a page in a signature. So, you know, you're flipping through, flipping through, got a page, a page, a page, and then all of a sudden you have this pocket page. And it's like, oh, it's made out of vellum. I love the texture, the sound. I love the look of it. It's interactive and you know practical and useful because you can take all the things out and use them so it's just a nice fun surprise to have in a journal of course another idea with the ephemera holder is to add in your more traditional ephemera holder pages where you have an actual page and the vellum pockets go across the page like this and it's top loading pockets i mean so so many ideas or you could just make more of these um add another two or three of these pocket pages and maybe do those other ideas with the one going like that and the one going like that so you have an ephemera holder with all different looks to it and that can hold all different types of ephemera all different sizes i thought that would be really fun um so yeah play around with that idea at home if you would like uh this was my first go at making one of these really happy with it now that i know what it looks like can definitely experiment with some more ideas um, and those other three ephemera holders I made, the collage ones with the more traditional top loading pockets, they were very popular. They went very quick. So thank you, thank you to the people who uh, snapped up those ones. I will send those out tomorrow because today is a public holiday um, in Queensland. Um, but yeah, thinking of making some more, <coughs> excuse me, let me know if you are interested in me making some more and other ideas like this. And uh, yeah, hope you guys are all doing really well and be sure to join your life because your stories matter. Bye guys. A big thank you to my beautiful patrons who supported me in April. Thank you so much for allowing me to do this for another month. It really means the absolute world to me and I could not do this without you. If you would like to become a patron in May, I will leave the link below to my Patreon down in the description box. That's where you get access to more videos from me, personal updates, printables, and if you're a Ruby patron or higher, you get every single digital kit from my Etsy with a new with a new kit each month. If you would like to support my channel through a one-off donation, you can do that through PayPal to my email address or through Buy Me A Coffee. And if you would like to be part of any of my journaling courses, I'm starting them again in May for the month of May. So feel free to email me to register and I hope you have fun journaling your life because your stories matter.